Hello everybody, you are welcome to today's class and we thank God for the opportunity to be here and to be able to do this to help everybody um, and God bless you for being here. Can you just share a word of prayer with me as we begin? Let's just sing this short song. We give you the glory and we thank you for today's class. Grant us understanding, wisdom, insight in the name of Jesus that will excel in ministry. Amen. So we are here today to deal with introduction to breathing for singers. Introduction to breathing for singers. Um, you cannot be a good singer with a bad breathing technique or a bad breathing skill. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, it says, And the Lord God formed man from the ground, the, from the dust of the ground, and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And make sure to keep that scripture in your mind and in your heart. Without breath, the breath of life, there's no, I mean, we don't have life. Without life, there is no voice. So no breath, no life, no voice. It's important that as a musician, you nature the skill of using your breath wisely during breathing. So there are a few things that I would like to note. Um, I categorize them into five um, areas. The first, let's talk about what breathing is. Now, breathing... Okay, it's just the inhaling and exhaling of air. There's nothing complicated. I mean, we're born to breathe. Everybody just breathes without thinking. But when it comes to singing, breath during singing is quite different from when you are breathing just on a regular level. So the first point we are handling is what is breathing? And it's just inhaling and exhaling of air. Okay, all right. In breathing, there are differences in breathing when singing. Um, in the first place, we breathe from our lungs here. Now, when you are just regular breathing, you use just about 10% of the, your lung capacity. But when you are singing, you're using about 50% of your lung capacity, means you need to take in more air. So that is quite different from regular breathing. Another difference, too, is that with singing, you need to be more focused in your um, breathing because you need to note at which points you must breathe. You breathe before each phrase. You breathe before each phrase. So before you release the phrase, like if you want to sing, um, we just want to thank you. You go like, so breathe. We just want to thank you. So you see, so it's very important for you to be able to breathe um, when singing and uh, you have to be able to breathe very well to be a professional singer um, because the your voice runs on your breath. Your breath is like the fuel behind your voice. If your voice was a vehicle, your breath um, is the air or the air you're breathing is the, is the fuel which 
runs the vehicle. So it's very, very important. Looking at the vocal anatomy, I mean, we can't go into detail. We have to do that in, a, in an advanced class. But basic vocal anatomy, you have your voice box here. Sometimes you see the Adam's apple for the guys. The voice box is just in there. And then within the voice box or your larynx, as we put it, you have the vocal cords in there. The vocal cords are just like um, kind of brush bristles. They, they look that way. So the air passes over them. It just passes over them and you just see the because it just vibrates as it passes over them and then it makes the sound too. So your muscles, the way you adjust the tension in the muscles, the relaxation and all that produces the kind of um, sound that you must hear as to whether it's tense, whether it's natural, whether it's warm, whether it's cold, whether it's sharp pitched and all that. So all depends on the, how the air is used. So it's important that you need to have enough air. That's one side. And then number two, how you manage the air that you have. Okay, it's that important. Signs of good, um, my third point I want to handle is with a signs of good breathing. Signs of good breathing. Now, when somebody is breathing properly, okay, I'm just going to give you a few points, but you can look at the description or um, check the on your page that you're watching this video just check down and then you see um, all the notes there okay so breathing makes you very confident when you are you breathe well because it's you don't feel any tension you know with when you don't have enough air and you are trying to sing it affects every part of the singing your face looks tense you 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 start and because the you start choking. You see, you start choking on uh, um, sometimes because you don't have enough air, because the little air, you are trying to squeeze things out of it. So you are not even able to complete your phrases. It becomes even difficult being effective in a choir because when you are handling a song that is, you have lengthy phrases, we give you. Oh, you are already stuck. So you can't go further. Okay. So. It becomes very prob uh, problematic when you are unable to breathe properly. When you breathe properly, you are relaxed. That's not tensed. The relaxation makes you confident. It helps you also be able to do advanced scales, adjusting your tremolos, your uh, um, 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 vibratos. It helps you do all those things. It helps you control. You have full control over your voice. And so you're able to m manage your voice or control the way you want to sound very well. You know, some people talk about rips and runs and all those things. Without good breathing, none of those things can happen. You can change the way you sound, your voice sounds. You can go warm, uh, sharp, uh, high pitch, uh, and do all those things because you have enough breath. So I've um, shown you what happens when you don't have enough breath and then what happens when you have enough breath. Let's look at so the reasons for breathing right. It's important to be able to breathe right because you cannot be a professional singer with the wrong breathing. It's very, very important. You can actually damage you, yourself. Yeah, like you can hurt yourself or suffer a... Uh, um, um, some damages okay to your voice when you don't breathe well you don't use the right breathing techniques so it's important that you do it right from start so we are going to be showing you some exercises that some breathing exercises that you can apply to be able to breathe very well and take them very very seriously introduction to breathing exercises let's handle one basic one right now which is on your page. Let me just check. Basic exercise. It says, inhale deeply in your diaphragm so that your belly button protrudes, protrudes slightly and then keep the air in your belly, not your shoulders. Okay, so what do you do? First, you need to look at your diaphragm. At the bottom, just beneath your belly button, going down a bit into your abdomen, you find in there, there's something that you call the diaphragm. Now, when you want to breathe in, okay, 
you your belly button or your navel expands down and out when you do it the right way you don't breathe into your shoulders or into your upper chest like no don't do that so you breathe down and out down and out so breathe downwards into your belly okay and that's where your diaphragm your diaphragm is just that membrane down there which has the power to push the air out properly so when you breathe down there your diaphragm expands that way now when you are pushing the air out of your lungs your diaphragm contrasts and then it pushes the air out of your lungs okay now when you do it properly you realize that your stomach is not tender it's hard okay it's very hard okay so when you do do it the right way you can check in the mirror do it you can lie down um, on the floor with your back like that and then do some of these exercises okay to build that kind of pressure in your um belly okay training your diagram um, your diaphragm to do the right thing all right so it says that ensure that your stomach feels hard and not tender yes and then exhale slowly from the same place so you down and out down and out hold your breath wait for a while and then you come out so taking the breath i just open my mouth just a little okay and then i take in this one i'm not taking it through my nostrils i'm taking it through my mouth so i go and so i just go okay but remember you br you you inhale down and out okay so let's let's go. Okay, let's count down. Okay. Three, two, one. So now we are using this Hessen technique. The other techniques, we still use the Hessen, but this is the basic. Okay, the first one, I did it without the Hessen sound. Now I'm going to do the Hessen sound, and I'm, I try to measure um, how long I'm going to go, or just to be audible enough to be able to know how far I'm going. Okay. Three. Three. Two. One. <laughs> that was not <laughs> it's interesting but not easy so there's something that if you want to be very good you need to do very very often i'm recommending um i'll not give the specific apps in this lesson but in the next lesson i'll recommend some apps that can help you some apps that can help you um with your training but you need to have an app, which is a metronome, to help you check your beats. But for this, you need a timer. Make sure you have a timer app on your phone. If you need to download from a place, so please do so. But have a timer app on your phone because there, there are exercises below which you have to do, assignments below which you have to do, and you need to time all that you are um, going to do. Somebody asked a question, which I'm going to respond to. It says that why is it that fat people can sing? Um, I would say that it's not that fat people can sing, but fat people sometimes sound nice and sometimes can sing uh, very well. It's not every fat person who can sing or something, you know, but for those who are singers, who are fat people, 
sometimes because they have so much air because they have larger chest and then which gives them larger lungs they're able to hold in so much air so i mean the air that your kind of 50 percent air is their kind of 10 percent air okay so uh, w you have to take in so much just they take, take taking little and they're able to do much with the air so and then number two you know the the, the structure of your vocal cords and your larynx alone gives you a certain texture of your voice and the structure of your head gives you a certain texture of your voice so sometimes i realize that fat people have very nice voices because of the kind of resonances that go in there okay but i have seen slim people who sometimes can't even hold um they can hold their breath even far more and f longer breaths than even fat people. Okay, so that's just a little bonus. And um, I need to end here. Our time is up. The simple exercises, keep doing them with the simple basic breathing exercise. And then do the assignments below. The, all the assignments that have been put below and then submit them so that I can monitor and then um, help you the way uh, you must be helped to do what is best. We thank God for this opportunity in Jesus' name. Um, amen.